Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will look into how to shoot an AR game object using touch. So basically what we will be doing is to scan the usual plane surface, then we get an indicator. On the first touch, we spawn a prefab. In my case, it's an animated spider. On the second touch, we will destroy the spider when tapped on with a little explosion and that's it. There can be multiple situations where you might find this helpful. This project is an extension to my previous videos. I'll post the links in the description and also try to attach relevant scripts. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go to Unity. We're using the same project where we left off, where we scaled an AR game object using pinch or two touches. First, let me create an empty to attach a shooter script. Then let me bring the spider in the scene and scale it down to 0.1 in X, Y and Z as 0.2 was still big. Then let me add a tag to the spider to identify while shooting. I'll name the tag spider. I'll assign the tag to the spider and override it to the prefab. Let's delete the spider from the hierarchy. Now let's add the script and call it shoot. Double click to open it up. Here in the script, first let's get the AR camera, then let's get the explosion. Then we'll check if the touch count is greater than zero and get touch phase equals touch phase began. Let's add a raycast hit on the top. Now check if physics.raycast, the imaginary line in red, starting from the camera position and direction is hitting something. If it is, then check the hit item or game object has a tag of spider we just created a moment ago. If the check is correct, then that means if we found the target and then destroy it, then instantiate an explosion at the same place. Then also destroy the explosion game object after 2 seconds as we don't want it to hang around. So now you see two empty field for AR camera and explosion. We can drag the camera and here for the explosion we need to find some particle effects. I found this free particle effects from the asset store. I'll add the link below. It's called Sherb's Particle Collection if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So download and import the asset. Then we'll pick out the explosion prefab in the package we just downloaded. For my test, uh, Basic Spark 2 worked for me, so I'll use that. Bring it in the hierarchy and scale it down as a spider is small in the scene. Let's make it a prefab variant by dragging it into the prefab folder. We then delete the explosion from the hierarchy. Also attach this new explosion prefab to the shoot script we just made. Now in the AR placement script we created last week, we need some edits. Let's take off all the lines related to the pinch. Let's remove the comments and the unused variables. Add a game object shoot here. In the start method, we wanted to deactivate the shoot bit, else the touches will collide and after AR object is placed, we can switch on shooting. So basically what we're doing is to avoid spawning and shooting at the same time. We will enable the shoot game object after the AR object or spider is spawned. These are the small changes on AR placement script. Now in the empty field here, drag the shoot game object. Deactivate the shoot game object as well because the scripts will enable them at the right moment. Let me build now. Add open scene. Okay. It's already added, but it's called scale AR object. Let me rename the scene to shoot AR object.
Now let's build and add open scene. Change the name of the product in player settings if required. One important thing before building, the spider won't be detected if we don't add colliders on it. So let's add in. Open the prefab and select mesh. Then add a mesh collider on it. It should look a bit green as in the window, which shows the mesh collider on the spider. Another thing just for satisfaction on this mesh game object, mark the tag, mark the tag as spider on it as well. Now let's build it. That's it. This is how we spawn a spider by the first touch and then destroy with the second touch. I've tried with multiple spiders as well. Let me know if you wish to see something like this in the comment section. That's it for today. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up, subscribe as I'll be posting Unity related videos possibly every week and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and peace.